Welcome everybody. I'm certain we're going to play some Starground today. This is a game that was given to me through Emailer, and it was, uh, it's actually a lot of fun. It's a little bit of a mixture of a dungeon crawler with a mostly kind of roguelike Torio automation system, which is a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and start a new map. I've already played through the game and actually kind of saw everything. It took me about five, six hours to do everything there was to do in game, um, which was a lot of fun. Let's see if we can find something here. I uh, want something with a big solid chunk of land to it. So of course I'm not seeing it. Um, that might do. We could do better. Uh, we can change the world size. I don't want to do that. Maybe that'll help a bit. You know what? That might work. Let's try that. Why not? Can't cross over water, so like anytime there's something in between you can't get to it it's not gonna help you so there's a little tutorial here where things will sprout up we collect them and stuff and then from there we'll, we'll build things we just kind of chip away just slowly right now once we get rocks but i'm just gonna go ahead and much good anything that shows up because of course we'll need it all each time you collect something you get about Two of each. Can't think of anything that you don't get two of from. So there's trees, there's stone. This bluish green stuff is copper. Coal. And then the brown one is iron. So, let's see here. It wants me to build a furnace, and then I think that's pretty much going to be the end of the quote unquote tutorial. There's a fair amount of build menu here and there are researches you can do too. This all this is all the research there is to do. You unlock further ones by getting what you have. Um, but let's see, we want a furnace. Fair enough. Great, that's the basics. Add Astra. Uh, and then shows the different things we can put in there. Use wood for fuel. Uh, you can shift click to put things in there. There's a lot of quality of life keys where you can right click to take half the stack and whatever to that effect. So there we go. I'm going to take some time here and just collect a mass amount of resources though. That way I can do it off recording, not have to bore you to death and get a lot of that stuff done out of the way. We can just get right back to the gameplay. So I will see you in a little bit. All right, well, welcome back. As you can see in the top left here, this two isn't a level or anything it means that it's daytime on day two so we spent the whole first day just kind of collecting stuff and it might seem like a lot but it won't be just trust me on that one we'll go ahead and stick a couple in there and let's go ahead and just make some iron we're gonna need a fair amount of iron first thing that i'm gonna want to do is probably just set up some electricity and the first set of electricity is most likely there's going to be a treadmill. From there, let's uh, create a Tesla coil. Or mine, not yet. Let's go ahead and make some copper bars. Make a Tesla coil. And I want to make a crafter, which will require some power. So let's go ahead and get some more of those in there. How many do we need? Five? All right. Not a bad start. This crafter here. Now make some things. The first thing I want to make is biofuel. This stuff could be way better. But it won't run unless I'm running, so. Go ahead and let it make some. And then I'm going to take this stuff, which, as you can see, wood has six fuel, and this is 48. So even though it requires, I think, two of them, it's way better. And uh, let's make some bricks. So I think the next thing we're going to want to make is probably this furnace here. No, it takes just, nope, not the furnace. Where are you? The burner takes the bricks. How many bricks? 
10. Oh my. We might as well keep running while that's going. A little tedious, but once we get this burner going, it won't be an issue. Go switch that out. It goes so it goes. I think we just need two of these. Perfect. From here we can take some of the biofuel as well. The problem with this though is it will burn endlessly. Whether we need it to or not, it will go. So something to keep in mind is it will just kind of waste fuel. So what's next on the list of things we want? Well, this is why I did things differently in the hard way, but let's go ahead and try to get a collector. We need lots of iron. You keep doing your thing, perfect. Get some more iron ore. We will always need it. We'll switch to gears. Take that out. Take that out. Go ahead and put some of those iron in there. And take two iron for each gear. Which is a fair amount. So that's half of it. What else can I have you make for me? I'm gonna make some copper wires. Might as well do something since you're burning up on that fuel. Alright, so from this we can get a collector. Wonderful device here. The only problem is I want to make another Tesla coil. Which of course wants one of these parts. So they're not really Tesla coils, they're actually put up a line between them. I think the line's supposed to just be visual so you can see that they're connected, but uh it shoots out electricity, I guess it's like a Tesla coil. Regardless, it sends out little bee drones and anything in this area will collect. And then just kind of put in its spot there for us, which is obviously very nice. Let's go ahead and... some more of those. Wouldn't mind getting a couple more. Ends the number we need. Go keep doing your thing. Message, we don't need it. Perfect. You're done. You're done. The more stuff we collect, that's what we'll have to do on our own. Um, I don't really want it in the water. There's nothing to really collect there. This circle has to be within that circle. It can't just be like, oh, the circles are overlapping. We're good. Fortunately not. Those guys are going. Like these, just to get them out of the way. And let's get one more. Three collectors will do us quite well. How you doing? Getting through that fuel. That iron ore. No one said you could stop. ahead and build just and we'll put it right there you're done with that excellent
Seems like a good distance between Humch. Some more copper. Uh, All right. Believe it or not, this is a pretty decent start. I understand if you don't believe it. All right, so let's get to more some of this automation part of things. Movers right here are required to move anything outside or inside of stuff, which should be probably pretty obvious by the name. Go ahead and do that. And conveyor belts work as well. Conveyor belts do. Let's go ahead and break this stuff up. We're gonna move around the base a little bit. went through the iron pretty quickly. Get a crafter here, and then what we'll do is we'll pull things out of here, make fuel, and then have a burner going kind of constantly there. So the poor bees don't know what to do. It's not their fault. Shouldn't have got rid of the treadmill, I guess. generating power for everything again and it will continually kind of self fuel from here it knows what to pull because we've told it right here what to do but we can whitelist it and blacklist it which is actually pretty nice but it will do it automatically which is of course very nice as well so now that we have power kind of automated let's see if we can automate some other things Let's get right there for now. Um, one and a half of you. Put you back in there. So I think the best, or at least the best way I figured out, is to take you, immediately put you into another box if I had the wood, which I won't because you're using up all the wood I'm collecting. All right, let's grab a tree. Can't dodge roll to kind of sprint through things. What do we want to have coming through here? Let's tell this basically oh, copper sure.
Mm, what do you want? Stone can probably go somewhere else. Let's have it just do iron or copper. Now that we've folded something, it will only push those things through. Let's take another mover. This is what's going to get a little spaghetti. but not in the way I wanted. Cool, perfect. So this will give us some fuel back plus what we need to bake into different things. I need way more iron. Let's see if we can go out and find some. way I'm trying to future proof this so we don't have to keep tearing it apart later still more wood you just took some So in here, we should have heal and everything we want to bake. Let's make a furnace. Let's go ahead and take that. I want to automatically right now just tell you this. And this only. This will be your furnace. Just for making iron. Exactly what this guy does now. There's there you go. Perfect. Anytime you tear something down, you get all of your resources back. If there's items in it, like right there, you get those items back. You just pulled it and put it in there, didn't you? It's fine. A lot to do there should make those. Those are being made automatically. Very nice. Like some more of these resources here. I'm trying to link up our third means of production over there. Resource gatherer. Thirty-six iron bars. That should make it pretty easy.
All right, fantastic. And I imagine it has quite the backlog of stuff. So we have iron and copper automated, power is automated. Things are looking pretty good. Not bad at all, really. So what else can we build? We have a battery we can make. Uh, I don't think it's really necessary since this is constant. We could make a treadmill. It's down here. A star launcher. Okay, well, that's definitely something. Um, research. We're just going to take a computer chip. Get you out of the way. I think one more furnace. It's not very often that we'll need it, but we will at times need bricks. That's not what I want. You. He's getting half of them automatically, but they only fill up to 10, so that is actually kind of nice. After that, he'll just put things into the other direction. At least that's what I seem to notice. We do seem to be running kind of low on fuel of all things. But we'll get some bricks that way. Perfect. So we can get our starship jump thingy. It's the uh, technical term for it. And a researcher. For the most part, all these ores and everything can just kind of be dumped in there. I think first let's do the researcher. That we're going to need our own crafter. That one is uh, currently being preoccupied. I don't want to mess with it any more than I already am. I'll get a personal one here. We need copper coils and iron bars. We already have some copper coils and iron bars, so we can just pop them in there. We needed five? Okay. Very nice. Let's take our pieces back. We need more iron. Sure do. It's nice. We're going to be able to just pull over there and see what we need now. Um... Let's put this little guy here. He's got no power. Indeed, he does not. I need one stone. Everyone knows Tesla coils are made from stone. Alright, so we currently have no research. Let's press R to open up a research tab. And what can we get? Better automation gets us... Fast moving things in a splitter, which honestly I never had a need for any of these. Decorations? Surprising. You don't have a need for those either. Just storage. Actually wasn't that great. So really, that just leaves us here with alloys. So let's do that. That will get us um, a vault, which I don't really need. A sword blade. Steel, which sounds useful. And a foundry, which is probably where it comes from. Let's go ahead and stick those in there. And if you pull research now, you can see it's doing its thing. You can click on this and see that it's processing as well. We'll need some more iron. Which we have coming in at a pretty steady pace. Where's my coal getting stopped at? Is that here? Here, okay. Uh, my stone's getting stopped up there. That's not what I wanted. You can probably put a hole there too, that's fine. That way it's here in more of a central chest. So yeah, it takes a little bit. Takes some time, takes some power. It's okay. I can hit the right button, there we go. I think it might be a good idea just to get another um, burner going. Just to head off any power problems that might be coming in the near future. Yeah, 
hooks up the system automatically. Easy peasy. Just collect some more resources while we wait for research to kind of kick along. And in my head, I'm trying to think of how I'm going to set up this boundary since I kind of already know how it's going to work. Halfway through there. And I think what I'll do is end up moving this down and having coal come from here and come around because we're going to need to make iron and then put iron in coal to make steel. A nice little chain here, but I find three collectors does pretty well. Especially in the beginning. It saves me from having to do a lot of running around and, and whatnot. It's almost halfway done. What about building Star Launcher? We need more of those. Ain't no reason why we shouldn't just do it now, though. This doesn't require power or anything. Not surprisingly, it just shoots you into space. No problem, don't worry about it. of fuel, huh? Not down enough trees. Right, take those out since we're done with them. Those out. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Well, it's just going to kind of do its thing now. I don't really have much to contribute. Could get another collector to try to get more trees and speed things up that way. Not the terrible idea. But I think it's time to go out there and maybe see what else is on in the world. Music kind of reminds me of uh, Xenonauts. I don't know why. It'd be battle music that kind of plays like this. Make some more there. saying can't go into the world yet that's not true we can go to the star um, space hub here God, there's not much here there is a very nice snail he's very friendly he will uh, sell me resources I'm not about that life resources are free I'm not gonna pay for him. then uh, not much here and then whatever this guy is who has weapons up he really just has weapon parts but since we have no money yet we can't really do anything we can't ever sell them anything which is kind of annoying but here we are this is the dungeon it's gonna be different every time um, there are no other dungeons which is sad it always has the same final boss which is also kind of sad but for now let's just kind of go back because we need to make a weapon if we're gonna to go to the dungeon Should be almost done. Things will go on the background if you're in the dungeon or you're on the other things. Things will continue here, which is actually quite nice. It's also quite nice as you're about done. One more. Go ahead and craft some more biofuel. And Alloy is done researching. Let's go take that guy out. What does that mean? Well, it means a lot of things. Mostly, we can make this guy, which is pretty exciting. It will consume fuel, as all things do. 
Let's go take this break there. We seem to be quite lacking, I feel. It's surprising to me that we're not picking up more trees. I didn't really have this issue before. But then again, I did have some other things that we don't have yet, so let's pick up some trees, see what we can do to help. Could also put the treadmill back down and work on that. Wish there was a way to limit how much is in here, because that's part of the problem. Is we don't need all that in there. I'm not sure why you're picking there first. You're choosing to load up this guy. Now we have to manually fuel, which is really not ideal. at me in the background. She's hungry. Aren't we all? I, I like how things just like spawn out of the ground and rise up. I really think that's just hilarious. There's the bricks we need. Perfect. Some iron. Perfect. Let's go ahead and take this down. So, what do we want here? For one, probably more trees because we're going to make more chests. Trees are the bane of my existence. Just here. From there, we'll come out. Make iron. Make steel. No, that's not right. We need more stone. No. My kingdom for stone. Jeez, uh, yeah, where is it? Limiters on what things would take out would be kind of nice. I'm not sure exactly how you'd go about doing such a thing. Easily and simply, which is the confine of this game. Get the iron as you are. We were. And foundry. More iron. Foundry. Perfect. Hurry up, B. There's only one recipe for the boundary currently. I'm gonna move over here. This will be this. And that. Oh, well, you can come down this way now. Interesting, it's not taking the coal for here and using it as a resource, which I'm perfectly fine with, but not what I expected to happen. Oh, I already did that. Herp. Herp. Alright, and assuming we have enough fuel. We 
we have enough wood to power things. So let's go ahead and the tool bench if we can. Some more wood and iron. We're going to have to assemble our weapons. How do we create said weapons? Uh, remember, through our crafter here. There's a weapons tab. We can make a sword with 10 iron. Is that steel? That's steel. What do it look like? Uh, no thanks. We'll make this primitive hammer, I suppose. And this primitive ham duel, once I get one more tree. And then from here, we can simply just put it together. Each spot has its own stats. I think different things increasing to reach, knockback, different cooldowns and things like that. It automatically gets placed in your weapon slot, which is always number two. Is it the best weapon? No. Is it the worst weapon? Yes. But it's a weapon. So it should work. So let's go ahead and try to get clean energy. There's a lot of steel. Okay, well then, never mind. Steel's a stealing though. Just don't want this to not really get anywhere while we're gone. I was trying to collect some trees. I really think energy is kind of our bottleneck right now. Not a lot, but it's something. Let's go and throw these apples we've collected. We'll need them for healing purposes. We got a lot of all that. Okay. It sounds like it's dungeon time. Dungeons are procedurally generated. Change every time you do them. It's a heart that I won't need. This room so far, a little boring. Three of wisdom. Problems look back upon a blip in time. It's good advice, I suppose. Nothing that's really gonna help you with the game, though. Back. Back, you beasts. never died before. <laughs> Got rocked. Uh, the reach on this weapon sucks. The everything on this weapon sucks. I did have five apples on me too. I could eat. Uh, losing one coal, not the end of the world to me. I'm gonna try to get this guy going again. And let's head back out there. Not to be plunked like that. Probably am about to be punked like that. This button's so slow. Jeez. Ah, God, they just beat the butt out of me. Okay. <laughs> the 
That's embarrassing. Maybe I do want to make this. What was it? 10 iron though for the sword? That's pretty awful. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm not spending 10 steel for that. We can do this. I think maybe I just need a bit of longer reach. And a oh, better skill. Somewhere in there is a mixture of two things. I did it before with a hammer that was longer. And I think that just made it easier for me to reach them without being reached. Alright, I mean it this time. the wrong way. Okay, yeah, that was, uh, decidedly better. I need these pots. Fair enough. So we group them together. Skull on that door means boss room. That's uh, much easier for us. Above the boss room is always your way home. I don't know why, but this seems to be the procedural thing that's always the case. I'm gonna take that heart. And let's explore a little bit more. Sometimes there's nice like resource rooms. Okay, that's a nice beating for myself there. those things make when you hit them. Don't ask me why. It just feels nice. There is a way down for us. Got just in time there. That one got broken through the wall. Kind of confused about it, but whatever. And here's a resource room, like I was saying, but this is all stone, which is not really what I was hoping to find. Mm. Is this the end? It's the end. Okay. I saw one the first time I did one, it was iron, and then I could never find another one again. But if you have a bomb, it'll blow it all up at once, which is really nice. I made some bombs, it's like, go back and find it. Never again. It was a sad day. Alright. So this boss is going to take a while because, as you can see, we barely touch it. Got the poison cloud. Can you imagine the poison cloud's not good? He spawns little mushrooms that shoot. He spawns poison clouds. Unless you buy resources and some weapon parts, but it's really not great. Fast halfway, at least. Just, you know, obviously something. This alone would have been maybe enough reason to. 
are you buying the blade or making the blade? Yeah. Just eat that. No real reason. almost there. Come on, we got this. Poison cloud him right as he went out. Perfect. So what did we get for our troubles? Um, we got a shroom axe, which does a lot of damage, but is rather slow. And a shroomel. Like a pummel. Decreases cooldown, which would be pretty nice. And of course a trophy. Which is, uh, I actually couldn't care less about the trophy. Let's leave. We've done our job. But, I mean, I tried a bunch of times to go back, and all I ever fought was him. Dungeons got harder, but it was always just him. And by harder, they really just got bigger. So there we go. Decreases our reach a bit. A lot of knockback. Uh, five times the damage from what we were doing from our primitive hammer. Uh, I'm sure we need some trees. I don't want to make a box for myself, though. Now that I've got these boss drops on me that I don't particularly want. But it's nice that this all goes in the background for you. Do you want clean energy? It's be a lot of steel, though. Go ahead, we'll throw cheese in the apple. We won't really need this trophy. Is stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. All this is stupid. Not really, but it's nice to have them out of my inventory. See, I guess we really just need more breeze. I think a lot of it's just because it's pushing out to the power before eating the furnaces and stuff. The power is just sitting there burning through it, not even really needing it. In fact, I'm just going to take this. I'm not positive we even need that. Well, no, you're fine. What's your shtick? You need power. Because you have a lot going on there, too. Without a battery, though, it's kind of hard to see if you're using enough power or not. If you have enough power. Most of these furnaces aren't using power, so I wouldn't think we were really using that much. Just help out a little bit while the research is going. So because I make these so compact to save resources. Makes it hard to like walk. You can't walk through it at all. Own output. 
It's not always because we're still going to need a lot of iron. I need another 22. Okay, perfect. And we'll have some clean energy that we can do. Solar powers, of course, only work during the day. In which case, you need big batteries to... Oh, well, that problem the solar powers is these furnaces do 20 power. The solar powers will only do 8. Which is enough for one of each of those. Crafters consume 5, so... Oh, no, not too bad. Research does a fair amount, too. These guys. Trees popping up for us. Put those in there. You don't have any. You don't. You're pretty full. Why are you getting them, but nobody else? It's just prioritizing that way first, I guess. Not really sure. trees into it at least. How much longer in the research? Almost there, 77%. It's gonna take that. We have a lot of copper. I'm not really sure if we need all that copper. Take some of that stone. We don't have much stone. It's really still just iron that we need. There you go. There. So just put them all right in there, okay. We should, should be done pretty soon. Clean energy, there it is. Now we can start on oil processing. Which I think will be a uh, big up. Unlocks a lot of new stuff. Speaking of new stuff, let's take a look here. We need some more of those. Surprisingly. The solar panel themselves, we need those chips. Okay. do this far away from any other resource collectors, right? I don't want anything really around them more than what we need. Looks like we're not producing enough energy because these aren't getting built up at all. Not terribly surprised to see that. Got 
stop that. Let's uh, make some of those gems. charge going. At least for now. Make 30 of them. Do we need for another one just more chips? Need more steel. As we seem to always need. Two, we have three, so that's another six. Almost made one more than I got I needed, which wouldn't have been the end of the world, but kind of waste more poor planning. Yeah, still not a lot going on there. I mean, it takes more than three of these to equal one of those, so can't be terribly surprised, right? Do you want a chip? One more chip? That I grabbed? Thought he did this perfectly. Cat, go away. Always with the meow. Now that the sun is practically down, though. There it goes. We need more steel for more batteries, and we will need more batteries. At least this will keep the bees going at night. And I consume all of our burning fuel, I should say, because that's the actual word. somewhere else, is it? Oh, wouldn't seem so. Okay, wait. What do you mean? There's ten in there. Why is it going there? And... Weird. I had problems with that before where they were stuck with the wrong item and that's why things weren't getting like pushed through. I'm worried that's what's happening. Doesn't make a lot of sense, so. Right. 
Big battery need more copper coils. Really. It's gonna surprise me every time. Sustainability will be quite nice though. I can't believe we're so out of coal. Maybe three collectors isn't enough for the pace that I want. Then again, coal doesn't seem to be spotting very much, so. our research go. Um, okay. Need more steel. Not a huge surprise. That's a big part of why I want to automate it. Steel's going to be kind of a big thing for now. I didn't know that. I haven't tried. Sun's up, so that's good. That, like any coal around here. No wonder we can't find any. Charcoal's not really a thing in this game. That coal and charcoal are really the same thing, but sometimes in these games they're interchangeable. Charging the battery quite well. Let's take that stuff back then. There. Well, that's actually great news. Let's go ahead and make some more of these. Charging but slowly, okay. Go figure the uh taking away there of that furnace really affected things. Um it's already kind of close to here, isn't it? Yeah, it's not you guys there. the coil. Gotta be done with it. Slowly bumping out more of those. Processors now because I still kind of want more solar panel, and then I think we'll be at least kind of self sufficient. More steel, which of course we can't have because there's no hole anywhere. There's some. Shame because we also need the gold just to do some research. The steel, but I mean, grades are kind of high. There's another sucker there. Freshly spawned from the earth. Barely got to appreciate life before I cut them down.
that does give us more than what we had before. Uh, we could put the treadmill on and make pretty much just as much power as those four solar panels. Every time I want to give ourselves a nice boost, but it should be a fair amount of power when everything's said and done. How much extra power I wish it told you. Um, just so I could have those numbers. Might have been a little preemptive to get rid of furnace. Oh, Fritz, nice to see a couple more holes spawning. So I do want to show off the oil processing thing. It's pretty cool. was never my problem when I kind of did the test playthrough. I'm not sure I can really call it a test playthrough. I unlocked everything there was to unlock. Coal wasn't really ever my issue. It's always iron. I don't know if it's just because the game's working differently now or what, but it's definitely not the issue right now. That's half the research. No, that's all of the research. I'm an idiot. For some reason, I thought we needed 40 again. Which would have, uh, would have really sucked, actually. Let's take this. It's just in going back and doing a dungeon again, even though there's not going to be anything else, just because we have a newer weapon. Could be kind of fun. Get some of these things. The oil rig plant. Rules or something you could do to kind of make the bees collect better. I suppose I could just make more collectors. I mean, they're a pretty basic resource for us at this point. But complete lack of spawning, I don't really feel like that's the issue. Unless they do take a power, so. There's that. Halfway through done. Probably doesn't help that. We're getting a little... Actually, we're maintaining pretty decently. I can lie, I'm a little suppressed. Uh, but the dungeon aspect of the game definitely... I mean, this game in general just needs more time to cook. But I like the base of what this game has to offer. I think there is a lot of fun things to do. Feels like it's 90%. Factory automation, five, to ten, and that might be generous percent dungeoning. It's just not really anything you get from dungeoning that you need. You can get money to buy resources. You know, you might get a resource room, but otherwise, there's not really anything there that progresses as part of this game at all, which I would consider very much to be the core part of the game. Oil processing is done. So if we want to make a oil rig, we'll need some rotors and two chips. 
Well, we're pretty good at making ships. Nope, that's not right. Let's take that out. There we go. chips scroll down there's rotor it's one steel bar Ooh, some of those too huh what do you do we need five all right you're not sorry because you have no power ah we ran out of juice treadmill will not save me now the sun is coming up, so we actually did make it pretty far into the night. It's a little sad, I'm not gonna lie. Gears. Gears are kind of a pain in the butt. One, two, you need two irons to make it. It's kind of like one of those beat contraptions. Set it here, and anything within its range, it will come again. Let's go ahead and make some more Tesla coils. Okay, there we go. Beats go out, they do something, and bam, straight into a barrel. Don't ask questions. That's, um, you're kind of in the way, actually. Yes, we're gonna run out. Take that steel. Here's a boatload of coal. All of a sudden, it's coal season. Oh my god, there's even more. that oil rig start using that used to be really hard on power uh, not really that much oh boy five more rotos two more chips I got plenty of those and those I guess without a refiner this isn't going to be much right That's going to be as much as we want there. That's probably not correct at all, actually. In fact, that's something. Yeah, no, that might be right. Even with me running, this isn't really going to. No, we need way more solar panels. For now, this works. Yeah, I could be out there collecting things, but that's all right. Well, that's going to be a problem. Cool. 
we were getting a boatload of iron and now it feels like we're not. That's not enough. Um, let's see. Yeah, now there's way more coal. We literally couldn't find two pieces through the whole map. Big help there. Uh, actually, we only need two. So, it was very much enough. Um, let's see. Well, until we need these gears, I guess. guys cook. Sure, do those. So now we need the iron. Sun's going down. We're mostly charged though. still going down even with us running, but hey, it's something. Use five power as well. Rock. I don't think I have enough for you. Of course not. Set a mover into there. So now we can make power cells, which are really good fuels, like twice as long as the biofuel, uh, or we can make plastic, which is what we actually need. So let's do that. I mean, I feel like we're pretty good on biofuel anyways. So that looks like a battery. I don't think you're just supposed to put batteries in fire. I was getting the impression that's very dangerous and they'll explode on you. Like acid, battery acid, they'll explode battery acid on you. I'm just, um, it's not I'm trying to burn them from fuel. Doesn't seem like a wise decision, really. Okay, well, we're right back to needing coal again. There's some. So I think the next research is... We got clean energy, we got oil processing. Electric furnace is okay. I don't think it really does anything that much better. This, on the other hand, is really something else. But there's not a whole lot of need for oil once you get your plastics. Can I cover? That's that's really it. Plastic, which we have, where's the button rotors, which we don't have. We might as well let this guy start going. Our battery's already low. Oof. Um, 
rotors. Once again. How many rotors? 20. It's 20 gears. wires that shouldn't be so much of an issue it's good enough be more than we need but that's okay and then we'll still need some more gears when everything's sent on oops is the sun's coming back up again there's some copper or some coal need. Iron, which I guess we'll also need. Really, but yes, technically. Nope, stop that. Okay, with all the plastic we need for right now, at least. Uh, we don't need that. Yeah, we will. We'll still need more. Yeah. guys going. That way when this research is done we can at least put in the rotors that we're able to make now. And then we'll just need four more gears to finish the rest. Not terrible. Right, stop researching so let me throw those in there. Just so we can cook while we're doing stuff. Wow, well, about the power. So we put a lot more drain on it recently. Maybe we should keep a furnace back up just to help out with it. It'd actually probably be a huge help. going down now. Why, why are you doing that? And why do we have so many here? What the? Not really sure the logistics and why that's kind of going the way it is, but I suppose that's fine. Either way, we're getting some extra power in there, which is 
a big help. Throw these in there. I had 16, so we just need another four. There's three. Should do it. Even with the furnace, it's still really getting pulled. That's a lot better. Just need eight left. Perfect. We just missed on it and one there. Construction's complete, which is very exciting. So that lets us make a thumper, which we'll need a lot of things for. And rotors being the biggest pain in the butt. But well worth it. Before it disappeared. And that's looking pretty good. Pretty good cold run here. That's 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Should be everything you need. Go pop you in there. Uh, actually, that's all we needed for that, wasn't it? Yeah, so we don't need you anymore. Sorry. We'll uh, take the iron. I guess you can just do that. Since we're gonna need these guys going. How many rotors do we need? Ten. That's not a terrible number. And then what else? Twenty plastic, okay. Just need two, so we'll need twenty total. Should do that then. The juice. Actually, we're both doing it. It's still gaining. It's kind of impressive. Really need this anymore, of course. Oh, you're doing that. Okay, you get it, B. I'll get this. Let's 
salt pop up, so I thought it was fair game. That's what I know. Generator at 27. I'm gonna need like 40. When everything's said and done. These gears. Uh, no, that's actually more than enough. We're talking about we need 10. I'm so used to needing 20 of everything. see this thumper in action. We need more steel. Of course we will. And I put all the coal in here like an idiot. Of course I did. And now I won't be able to find any coal. So we'll take these and throw them in there. Let's get back on the path. The battery's already full. That's pretty great to see. Specs, we'll just need seven. That's one more cool. It's gonna be worth it, guys. Hang in there, I promise. It's, the thumper is really cool. There it is. Okay, so. Thumper is advanced resource collections. What does that really mean, though? What it means is this huge area. It's just going to pound. It's going to take it to pound town. In all the right ways, of course. Where so it's like, oh, it's just going to pound and resources will generate. Then we'll just take them out of there. Kind of. It pounds and then trees, rocks, whatever, just spew forth from the, the ground. Giving the uh, bugs plenty of things to do. Uh, and its range is pretty big. So resource issues are kind of just solved. We don't even have to like space these out anymore. Just because it's going to spawn way more than what can be taken. up here that probably would be a good idea if we really wanted to kind of max out everything that's happening look at that all lines up perfectly no more shortages of really should be anything ever again. There's still some things to research. Electric furnaces, I, I never built one, but I mean, now that we have plenty of electricity and stuff to make more electricity, we could do that and fully just automate everything. But there's not really anything goal-wise. There's no more dungeons to do. There's decorations or a box that holds more things. It's not even bigger in size, so it wouldn't really help out with any of this kind of mess. Uh, Better automation for splitters and stuff, but I didn't really find a need for splitters. As you can see, it's, it's working out pretty well. Okay, it crushed me. That's good. 
yeah, this is a pretty fun game, and I, I want to thank the developer for giving me a key and for also making this game. It's been a lot of fun. I'd like to see this game grow, and I'd like to see it get a, a lot more content. Because as is right now, what we have has been a lot of fun. So, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank you combined. If you actually stopped by and watched 100, 1 hour and 36 minutes, I almost said 136 minutes, which is not the same. Uh, if you've watched this whole thing, then I, I especially want to thank you. It means a lot to me that people take time out of their busy day to watch my content. So thank you so much for doing that. Please take care of yourself, stay safe, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.